Milan and Tana. So, excuse me, I'm chewing gum. Um, I've been really busy with school, and I've not got to do a video in a long time, but I have a new camera, so there'll be a lot more videos coming up. It's a lot better quality than my other camera. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I'm having to use some natural lighting, and it's giving me quite a flush here, but it's also helping to hide that I didn't feel good. I actually felt really bad, but I wanted to get this video out for everyone, so I slept on some concealer, and bright lips always help you to look like you feel much better than you do. So, if anyone would be interested in this look, this took me three minutes to achieve, I would be more than happy to do a tutorial on this. So, you know, I look pretty fresh faced. I feel, and it didn't take long to do, but we can do it, and you'll have to pardon my hair though, I didn't have time to work on that, but we'll get to it. So if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail and the title of the video, today we're doing a what's in my purse video, and I'll just let you all see my purse without seeing me. I decided to do this video because I actually just got this purse yesterday. It's brand new. Um, and it's a cheap purse. As far as purses go. And it was on sale. So if you like this purse, I will let you see all the aspects of it. This is from JC Penney's. It's a Rosetti. It was $59.54. But it was on sale, and I got it for 35 and I needed a new purse because my old purse was ripping. So, let's start with the outside of the purse, and in the side pocket, in this side pocket, I have gum. Because as you can see, I'm a gum addictive. And in this pocket, it's empty right now, but this is the pocket I keep my phone in because it's just easy to grab it because I'm always on my phone either texting or on Instagram or Pinterest or whatever and then these little pockets this pocket right here is just a little slit pocket you can see it and I don't have anything in there but in my zip pocket here I do have for easy access at the front my chapstick and I use the Nivea Kiss of Smoothness and I still have quite a bit of product left, but I've used quite a bit as well. I don't know if that'll focus on how much I've used. Yeah, you can see. I've used quite a bit of it. This is my all-time favorite chapstick. And also in this front pocket, which is being stubborn and I may have to put in a different pocket. Cause, oh, nope, there it comes. I have my fingernail clippers, and these are just a little tiny Bath and Body Works pair. And they're perfect for travel size, and they actually fit down inside a fingernail file that also buffs, but it's too big to fit in my purse. And as long as I have this, I'm okay, but if anyone's like me, and you chip a nail, or you get a hangnail, it drives me crazy. And I can't stand it, and so I have to have fingernail clippers with me at all times. And I'm sorry I keep looking at, there's a screen so I can see what I'm showing you all, but I gotta get focused on looking at the camera but in this next pocket it just unbuttons and because this was so nice and handy this is where I have my keys and this keychain that I have here was actually made by someone in my hometown um, if you live anywhere I don't know if she ships internationally but if you do this is a shout out it's Briar Patch Creations, I think. If anyone's interested in this, you can leave a comment down below. And I will make sure to put the correct link in there. Um, I don't know if she still makes these because I've had this for two or three years. But I know she also makes some jewelry and stuff. And it's really neat. So I'll try to find a link to that and maybe update a video later. But she also does lanyards like this. And I'm really wanting a lanyard. So I actually need to find out if she still makes stuff. But. And then on this I have my car keys which come apart. And I actually used to have, I gotta put it back on. I went recently to see the 
Red Sox, as you can see, I'm a Red Sox fan, but I went recently to watch the Red Sox play the Braves in Atlanta, and I actually liked the Braves too, so that was kind of one of those conflicting at heart games, but I was for my Red Sox, obviously. But I went to watch it, and I have one of those self-defense keychains that looks like a cat, but you put your fingers through it, and it becomes like a shank you can stab people with. And um, I have that because I, I live in a dorm on a college campus. I mean, I'm home right now for the summer, but safety first. And then on my other keys, these are destroyed. But I have a Minchie's card, Food City card, Hot Topic card, an American Eagle card, even though I don't shop at American Eagle anymore. And this used to be a Books A Million card. And it's it's nothing now. And then I have a whale's keychain because and that's just because that's where a lot of my family Yeah. Heritage. And then I have this keychain which is a little guardian angel if the camera will take on my face. And my mom got me this when I first started driving. And it's been six years ago. I've had it since then. And I've always had it on my keys. Even if it's not on my driving keys, I keep it on my keychain and keep it with me. So that's what was in this pocket. And now we're going to get into the purse. It actually has side pockets and a zip pocket. So we'll do this front side pocket first because I don't have a lot in here. I have my weight loss journal. I'm currently trying to lose weight. In the beginning of it I have like all kinds of different exercises that you can do. That way if I'm ever out and I want to exercise or if I'm randomly it's like oh I don't know what exercises I can do. Lie. I've got them wrote down in here. I have to do them. I've also got a section for healthy recipes I want to do. I've not done that yet. And then in the back, I've got like weights and I'm crossing off the weights as I go. Kind of as a visual motivator. And yeah, got words of encouragement as I go. And then I have a pin to cross off those things. And then I have a hair tie because I'm constantly needing to put my hair up and having no hair ties at all. So. That was the first pocket, and then we'll do this back side pocket, which is a lot more full. This is empty right now, but if I go out and, like, I have this lipstick on, and if I were to be going out, I would keep that lipstick in this little pouch here. Because, just in case it were to spill out in my purse, you know, I might need something. And then I've got hand sanitizer, and I'm so behind, I still have Christmas scents. I'm really behind. I've got to go pick me up some summer scents. Um, I have Contact Free Wedding Solution. It's just the Walmart brand. Pick me up. And that's because my eyes get really dry, especially during the summer. I do wear contacts and I have allergies. And speaking of contacts, contacts, uh, contacts, I have this adorable little fossil pouch thing and when you unzip it it has a mirror which I will cover that up sorry a thing full of contact solution and I do change this out regularly so that what's inside here doesn't get gross and a little contact case and I actually have a bunch of extra contact cases now and I'm thinking of taking this out and putting one of my extra cases that are a lot nicer and a lot cleaner in here but these are great for as I'm out and something happens and I usually keep my actual glasses in here when I travel or I'm just out and about. But my glasses are actually a few prescriptions behind. And I don't wear them because they give me headaches. So I've not been wearing those. But hopefully my prescription will be fixed soon. But my next thing I have is my sunglasses. And these are just a pair of fossil aviators. And I absolutely adore these sunglasses but they sit really crooked on me because they got smashed in a trunk 
and they're really light so they don't actually have that much sun protection but they're really great for if I'm out and about and I just need a pair of sunglasses. I don't normally drive with these. I have a pair of Betsy Johnson sunglasses aviators that I drive with and they're lighter too so if the sun's not bad I wear them but if the sun's really really dark and bothering me I have a pair of Ray-Ban knockoff Hello Kitty glasses. They're really cute and I, I drive with them a lot. And that's all that's in this pouch so I will throw everything back in there and we get to the main zipper of my purse and I'm gonna unzip that and I'll show you what it looks like inside if you can see you can't really see I'll take my wallet out and we'll go through my wallet last but I have a travel emergency toothbrush because you never know when you're just going to get something stuck in your teeth and you need to get it out. And then in this pocket here is feminine things because I am a girl and we won't go there. And in these phone pockets I don't have anything except for I have this little cord and this cord goes to a halo charger that has an adapter for, this is the adapter for my phone. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause real quick and I'm gonna find that halo so I can show you all. So, there'll be some Hollywood magic here because I'll disappear and I'll just be back. I'm back and I've got my halo charger and it opens up like a little book. And you're all gonna get to see my camera because I can't hide the mirror on this because it's just a giant mirror and I blinded you all. And I'm sorry, but this mirror is also the battery pack. And the way this works is you saw that little slinky cord I have. They attach into this this part and then like this is the charger don't pick up my face don't pick up my face this is the iPhone charger and my iPad charger which is really handy and then it just for storage pops back down in the top there and this is great to keep in your purse because if you don't have a compact like I don't this as I showed you whole front some mirror and you can check your makeup and stuff in it and see if you're looking okay and it's also one of those I don't know what they are RI something D that you can keep a card in here and it's that nobody can steal your identity and I really should have my debit card in here but I don't but you know that's really nice and this isn't in my purse because it needs to be charged I usually keep it in my purse but once I get this charged it will be down in one of those phone pockets and then the last thing I have is my wallet, and I absolutely adore this wallet. I got this from Kohl's, and the reason I got it is because you can see here it's got little attachments. And I actually, when I am at school, it came with a strap, so it can kind of be a little purse. And when I go out, when I'm at school, you know, this is all I really need. I don't need all this other extra stuff. And it makes it a lot harder for someone to steal my purse because it's small and attached to me. There's nothing there and that's, this is the money pocket and I keep my small bills in this front pocket and my larger bills in this back pocket just so when I go to pay it's easier and I'm not like stumbling through all this money. I have two whole dollars on me right now. I'm loaded. But um, I'm gonna pop my debit card out of there so nobody can see that. And then obviously where I'm covering up is my license. Can I show you all my picture without, no I can't show you all my picture without giving away any information, don't think, but I've got some more cards here, I've got like a rewards card, I've got a Sam's card, a Food City card, a bunch of just different rewards cards. I won't bore you all with all that. I can't wait to see you all again, I can't wait to make my next video, and I love you all, and I will see you soon. Mwah.